Two at 11, four people are behind bars accused of trafficking fentanyl and other drugs. Police say it follows a year-long investigation that stretched from Cincinnati all the way to Brown County. Simone Jameson joins us live from the Brown County Jail. That's right, Rob, I'm just outside the Brown County Jail where all four of those suspects are being held. Deputies believe the suspects distributed several pounds of narcotics a week to hundreds of people in the area. Now they tell us more than half a dozen law enforcement agencies helped to bring them to justice. It started off as an investigation with the Brown County Drug and Major Crimes Task Force, and we started buying locally using undercover officers as a portion of the investigation and work our way up. Captain Justin Conley leads investigations for the Brown County Sheriff's Office. He tells us the department worked with multiple law enforcement agencies, including the Hamilton County Heroin Task Force, Ohio State Highway Patrol, as well as local police and drug task forces to investigate a drug trafficking organization that originated in Cincinnati. Captain Conley tells us the year-long investigation led to the arrest of four suspects, 26-year-old Cassie Nicole Thomas, 33-year-old Nico Adams, 25-year-old Austin Hildebrand, and 31-year-old Joshua Childers. All four were arrested between July 25th and July 27th and are charged with possessing and trafficking fentanyl and methamphetamine. Austin Hildebrand and Cassie Thomas were taken into custody in the Sardinia area while they were attempting to deliver a large amount of methamphetamine. Nico Adams and Joshua Childers were taken into custody delivering a large amount of fentanyl to the Mount Orbe area. Conley says officials seized several firearms from the arrest and $35,000 worth of fentanyl and methamphetamine, enough to wipe out nearly half of the population of Brown County. The amount of fentanyl seized from the arrest of Nico Adams and Joshua Childers was estimated by the officers on scene to be approximately 20,000 fatal doses of fentanyl. The whole community where we live is you know, approximately 45,000 people. So when you're taking out enough fentanyl to kill 20,000 people, that's making a large dent in our local area from our rural community. Conley says the arrests are part of Brown County deputies' ongoing initiatives to dismantle the drug trade stretching from Cincinnati and Dayton. We're continuing to go after these drug trafficking organizations that are affecting our rural community. This is an ongoing investigation. We continue to, to work with what information we have and we build from there. And Conley tells me the three men being held here at the jail on those charges have a rap sheet of previous drug charges and that if convicted, they could possibly face several decades in prison. Live at the Brown County Jail, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now.